This time is all about getting to know your baby. Take the time to get acquainted. An awesome way to kickstart this is by tracking your baby. There are dozens of apps out there that help you do this, but you can also just use a good old pen and paper. Some things to keep track of are feedings and diaper changes and their um, contents. <laughs> and sleep. Breastfeeding moms can also note what breasts they last nurse from. You can start tracking right away. Some hospitals even have you track during your stay. Feedings will probably be every two to four hours and diaper changes should be between eight to 10 a day. Sleep should start to decrease during the day and increase at night. Remember, these are just averages and your baby is probably perfectly healthy if she falls a little outside of these ranges. A great reason to track is to learn your baby's patterns so that you can easily tell if something's off. Plus, your pediatrician will be able to glean insight from your data. For many people, tracking reduces anxiety and helps bring a sense of routine to the newborn days. But for others, tracking may cause more anxiety and the pressure of remembering to track. Every feeding and diaper change and nap is overwhelming. Tracking is not mandatory. If it helps you, go for it. If it doesn't, then ditch it. Discussion questions. Do you think tracking will help you? Why or why not? I hope this video brings you one step closer to a good night's sleep. Remember to like, subscribe, and share our channel so all parents can have access to the free baby sleep training course.